what's up jazz nation before we get into today's video i want to give a big shout out to this new up and coming youtube couple they do nothing but lit videos they do nothing but lit challenges lit vlogs lit pranks y'all will not be disappointed and they also keep you entertained like their link will be in the description box below and it will also be as a pinned comment let's get them to 5,000 subscribers y'all let's go support go to the channel and make sure you subscribe <laughs> So by the time y'all already know what I'm gonna be talking about today, make sure I get the video a thumbs up, okay? And um, don't forget to spam the comments with positivity. And um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm on the road to 200k. And um, I'm saying um too much, but um, <laughs> yeah. So my bad, y'all. I just can't stop saying um. It's like I can't stop saying so or um. Like it's just I don't know. I need to stop them. But anyways, as y'all know, I'm 37 weeks, okay? And I'm gonna keep on saying it because I'm just so happy. Like, my baby is almost here. But I am 37 weeks uh, and I am currently two centimeters dilated. And I just been trying everything to get like, you know, just to speed up the process. Like I've been walking, I've been doing squats. And a lot of y'all told me to like do the um, ball thing, like to stretch on the ball, like a bouncing ball. I tried that, but when I also looked it up on Google, they basically said that that doesn't help. So I felt like I was just wasting my time bouncing on the ball. <coughs> they also mentioned that um, having, you know, well, doing a nasty can also help. But it just feels uncomfortable. Like, Elena is sitting so low. It's like it feels like uncomfortable, so we don't like do the nasty. Uh, it was plenty of times where I, you know, wanted to do the nasty, but. I was like, it, it was from like too much pressure, like it didn't feel right. <laughs> so I was like, you know, I'm just gonna have to keep on doing the same old things, like walking and stuff. Maybe it'll, you know, speed up the process a little bit more. At least I hope you do. Um, I have an appointment coming up on the 15th, the this Thursday, cause today is Tuesday. Is today Tuesday? Yeah, today's Tuesday. So basically, um, I go to my appointment. <clears throat> Cause I, I see her, you know, every week now. So I go to my appointment on Thursday. Then we have one on Tuesday. Then we have one on Friday. I think those are the last three uh, appointments that I have. But this one coming up, which is Thursday, she's gonna be checking me again to see how far I dilated. And so far, um, at the last appointment, she said that I was two centimeters uh, dilated and 50% effaced or 59% effaced. One of them two. Um, I don't know if she said it like. I don't know if she mentioned like it was it was either like a negative one or negative two or a positive one or a positive two. So excuse me. So you know I really don't know. But all I've been trying to do is just get baby Lena out. I have not tried to eat pineapples. My mom did tell me that you know I should start eating pineapples now. I haven't tried eating pineapples, but I'm going to I'm gonna start eating pineapples now because as y'all know pineapples um I guess opens up the cervix more. So I'm gonna um try to eat pineapples but it just feel like you know nothing is helping nothing is working <laughs> like I'm, i need i probably need to start rushing my baby girl maybe you know she'll come on her own but i want her to come like now because i need to eat my thanksgiving food and if she do um <clears throat> and if she don't uh you know come like at least come like no, she needs to come now because I need to eat my food. Like, I don't know if I'm being selfish right now, but I need my Thanksgiving food. Y'all don't understand. Like, Thanksgiving is, like, one of my favorite holidays. I love Thanksgiving because I'm fat. I love food. So, Thanksgiving is, like, one of my favorite holidays. But, um, next to Halloween, I just... I just need my baby girl to come. Like, she's full term. She's chunky enough. Like, baby girl, come. Mommy wants you to come, okay? Yeah, y'all, if y'all have any suggestions, fill it up in the comments. That's all I'm saying. If y'all have any suggestions of things that I could do, let me know in the comments. So far, a lot of y'all just telling me to walk, do squats. I'm going to keep on doing it. Um, After I did walk, I had walked like 40 minutes. Um... I walked 40 minutes, I believe, yesterday, and um, I did squats today because I didn't feel like going out because it was so cold and it was snowing. 
So I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna do squats um, in a house. So I did squats in here for a good 20 minutes. I, I took breaks, trust me, cause I took some breaks, believe that. Um, so tomorrow I'm gonna go back up to the uh, fitness area and um, you know, I'm gonna, um, you know, go on the treadmill and walk. I was also thinking about, you know, um, putting um, like some exercise and stuff on YouTube. Um, like look at some and then just do little workouts, you know, in the living room. I was also thinking about doing that, you know, because I heard that dancing and stuff also helps, you know, helps your baby, like, um, you know, get lower a little bit. But I don't know how much lower Elena could go because Elena is low. When I tell y'all she's low, my doctor literally did not have to go far to feel her head. Like, my doctor was so shocked at how low she was. And, you know, I was, I think I was only 36 weeks at the at the time. Now I'm 37, so she was, like, really shocked. Um, <clears throat> but, oh, pause. Again, I want to give a um, big shout-out to this new up-and-coming YouTube couple. Make sure you guys go subscribe to their channel. Get them to 5,000 subscribers, you guys. Um, they're a lit couple. They do lit vlogs, lit challenges, lit pranks. So make sure you guys go subscribe. Click that link in the description box below. And also click the link as the pinned comment because that's, uh, the link to their YouTube channel. That's really it on what, you know, I've been doing lately. I know, look, our supporters, um, y'all waiting on Elena, period. I know y'all are because y'all fill my DMs up so, like, every day of, like, is Elena here? Like, when is Elena coming? Elena needs to hurry up. And y'all, I feel the same way y'all do, okay? I feel the, I feel the same way y'all do. Elena needs to hurry up. Cause it's people out here that want to see her me i want to i want to see her i want to meet her i want to kiss her i want to hold her that's my baby okay and i want to just y'all don't understand like i'm ready for her to come out because after she comes you know that's when i really get to get my body back i guess to start working out um because to be honest with y'all this pregnancy had me like a lazy human being i'm a, i can confess that I've been lazy this whole pregnancy. I'm not gonna say I've been lazy a whole lot because you know, I clean, I uh, try to run videos for all of our channels, you know. Um, but sometimes I do see myself lazy, you know. Um, and it's like I can't shake that laziness off. I can't, it's like I try to, but sometimes I just be wanting to stay in the bed like all day. And I don't know, like I haven't, I never was like that. So that's why I say like this pregnancy got me you know, lazy. Um, but yeah, that's really it. That's I just wanted to, you know, vent to you guys. I don't even I don't think that was venting, but I just wanted to get that off my chest. Basically, like Elena needs to bring her butt on, and I don't know what else to do. Like I don't know what to do to help me dilate more. It's probably not much I can do. It's up to Elena. So basically, it's like a waiting game. She decides on when she's ready. Um, but when I was done walking yesterday of uh, the 40 minutes, I felt pressure, like a lot of pressure, you know, down there. Um, what else? I had like little bits of cramps down there. But I, you know, I was like, you know, it's probably because, you know, I was doing that walking and stuff. But Elena is still active. She's still healthy. Um, I'm just waiting on her. Me and her daddy is, you know, waiting on her to come. We already got her hospital bag together. I still need to get my together. I've been procrastinating. There's still a few things I need to get, like nursing bras and stuff. But the rest of everything, you know, is set to go. We already got her car seat that needs to get go in the car. You know, we're just, honestly, we're just waiting on her. Tay got her dresser up, but he's he has to do a little bit more to it, like put the drawers in. But we got her dresser. Um, we got her crib. Uh, we basically, we majority, we have, I said we basically, we majority. That did not make sense. We have other uh, things that Elena, you know, needs. We got her a bassinet just in case her crib isn't ready at the time. Cause you know, Elena is gonna be sleeping with us. Well, sleeping in our room for the first three, maybe four months until until we feel comfortable with her to, to sleep inside her own crib, you know, by herself. Um, we got her a cute little bassinet. We also got her this um portable bassinet. Um, it's like let me see. We got her this right here, this portable bassinet. And y'all know me, you know, as a new mom, I like to, you know, be cautious of everything. So I had washed this because, <laughs> you know, I don't want her laying her head on just anything. Because, you know, baby's uh, skin is very sensitive. 
But this is Elena's bag. It's already done. And this is my hospital bag, which is not done. And this is what Tay bought Elena. He said he could not resist. And these are just so freaking adorable. Like, I can't wait. I want to get her some Uggs, but my mom is beating me to the punch with that. <laughs> my mom says, you know, she's getting her Uggs. But <clears throat> you can never go wrong with, you know, a lot of pair of Uggs. Especially for my baby girl. She gets, you know, everything. But again, y'all, this um ends off this house or vlog or whatever you guys want to call it. Make sure you guys spam up in the comments other things that I can do to help speed up this process. Um, if you're a mom, a soon-to-be mom, or you know, just give me um some ideas, some tips on what you know I can do as well. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click that bell to get notified on new uploads. Don't forget to subscribe to this new up and coming YouTube couple. Get them to 5,000 subscribers before the end of this month. Before the end of November, y'all, let's get them to 5,000 subscribers. Let's make their day by getting them to that 5,000, okay? And with that being said, click that link in the description box below and also click the link uh, that's as a pinned comment because that's their YouTube channel. So let's Let's take the time out, support them, y'all. Let's get them to 5,000 subscribers. I am out. Love, uh, with that being said, I am out. Jazz Nation, we are lit. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Mwah. <laughs>